Okay, an electron and a proton of mass, uh, mass of electron and mass of proton, uh, respectively, are accelerated from rest by the same potential difference. Ah, he's here he says same voltage, same potential difference. This is very important. The de Broglie wavelength for the electron and proton are lambda e and lambda p, respectively. So we have the symbol for wavelength, lambda e and lambda p. Find the ratio of lambda e to lambda p in terms of uh, mass of electron and mass of proton. So the question asks for ratio. Ratio of electron to proton, which means it wants to find ratio of electron to proton. Uh, okay, electron to proton ratio. Uh, so if this ratio can be put into a fraction form. Normally we put in fraction form. So this one becomes E first, then only P. Okay, E first, then only P. Uh. Okay, uh, so we need to find this fraction of lambda electron over lambda proton. So how to do this? So from here, we also can see we have two conditions. One is electron, another one is proton. Uh, so if you have two conditions like this, you want to do comparison, you make better make two columns. Uh, two columns. So one for electron, one for proton. Uh, make it two columns, uh, then easy for you to build equation. Okay. So then, then we uh, after we build a two column for two conditions, we list down all the information gathered. Yeah, information we provided in the uh, questions. Okay. So uh, list down all the information. So for electron, it has mass of electron. Proton has mass of proton. And then accelerate from rest by using the same voltage, same voltage, same potential difference. That means voltage electron equal to voltage proton. Uh, must be equal. This is important. Yeah? The voltage must be equal. So we can consider to be uh, for these two conditions, these two conditions, the voltage is considered constant. Uh, voltage is considered constant uh, because voltage, uh, same potential difference. Okay? The voltage doesn't change. Yeah, you only change the electron to proton, but you maintain the you maintain the same voltage. The de Broglie wavelength for electron and proton are lambda e and lambda p respectively. So uh, we have the wavelength for electron, and we have the wavelength for proton. Uh, so but we don't know uh, exactly what's the value of lambda electron and lambda proton. Find the their ratio, yeah. Find the ratio of lambda electron to a, uh, towards proton. Okay, lambda electron over proton in terms of mass of electron and mass of proton. So that means, uh, here he said in terms of. That means, uh, we no need to change to value. Ah, uh, so maintain at this symbol. No need value. So you no need to find out mass of electron uh, what's the value of mass of electron what's the value of mass of proton no need to find from this of constant lah yeah because the un the final answer the final answer must be in terms of these two variables uh, must be in terms of uh, the final answer must have mass of electron and mass of proton symbol okay so now um uh, what can I say? Uh, we need to find the wavelength actually, wavelength, and he says the the both electron and proton uh, has different mass, okay, has different mass, but they have the same voltage, uh, same potential difference. So you need to relate the potential difference or the voltage, okay? You can say um, same potential difference means um, velocity, uh, no, voltage of electron equal to voltage of proton. So now how to relate voltage to wavelength? What's the direct formula that you learned before? Direct formula from voltage to wavelength. Yeah, directly from voltage to wavelength. Ah, lambda is equal to H over 2 mass of electron times electron charge times voltage of electron. Ah, so uh, this is the formula. Understand? So from here we can see uh, the voltage is constant. Okay, the potential difference is constant, voltage is constant. Uh, what differ is uh, 
uh, okay, first thing we know is voltage is constant. Okay, we use this formula. Uh, very easy. Uh, to relate between voltage and the, uh, and the, um, what? Wavelength. Okay. So, wavelength is equal to H over 2 times mass of electron. Uh, 2 times mass times uh, uh, electron charge times um, uh, voltage. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you, you look at here. Uh, this proton... Proton, the formula for wavelength also, lambda equal to H over 2 mass of proton times electron times voltage. Okay, why is this also electron charge? Why is this also electron charge for proton? Why is it also electron charge? For electron charge, for electron is of course electron charge. But for proton, why is it electron charge also? Why not proton charge? Ah, yeah. You see, this, this one here, this is actually charge, okay? And for electron, electron, of course, is charge of electron, isn't it? Charge of electron, yeah? In fact, actually, this part, this part is actually uh, Q delta V, you understand? It's actually um, um, uh, U, potential energy stored. Ah, okay? So, Q delta V... Uh, is u so this u is equal to ev uh, from here we can see it is ev okay uh, which also equal to the kinetic energy yeah this potential energy change to kinetic energy uh, okay okay here the charge use electron charge but how about the proton but how about the proton the proton here why is it also electron charge why is it the charge also electron Ah, because proton has the same charge as the one proton charge is the same as one electron charge, isn't it? Ah, that's why uh, an atom can become neutral because the charge of charge of proton is equal to charge of electron. Ah, okay. The charge of the charge of one proton. Is the same as charge of one electron. Yeah, it's the same charge. Proton. I'm not talking about the mass of proton. Mass of proton, of course, bigger than mass of electron. Yeah, the mass in terms of mass, mass of proton must be bigger than mass of electron. But in terms of charge, they have the same charge. Uh, that's why a neutral atom. Uh, if they have the if a, if an atom, let's say atom X. If let's say it has um, um, six proton, uh, six proton, okay, uh, six proton, and also six electron, uh, then they are neutral. Then it is neutral atom, neutral atom. Understand or not? Because they have the same amount, uh, same amount of proton and same amount of electron, uh, same amount of proton charge and same amount of electron charge. So that's why I can say. The charge of the charge of one proton, the charge of one proton is the same as the charge of electron. Ah, the charge of one proton is the same as the charge of one electron. That's why an atom can become neutral if they have the same amount of proton and same amount of electron charge. So that's why here the formula we don't write as proton charge. There's no such thing with proton charge. We just write it as the charge of electron because the proton charge is the same as charge of electron. Uh, yeah, the charge of one proton is the same as charge of one electron. Yeah, so uh, that's why we also also put electron, and then uh, and then voltage is constant. Okay, so here we can see um, what is constant. What is constant? Uh, the H is constant for these two condition. Yeah, the H is constant. Two is also constant. Uh, electron charge. Uh, is the same as a proton charge, also constant. The charge is constant. The voltage also constant because they use the same potential difference. Same potential difference. So V, vo voltage E equal to voltage P. So this voltage E and voltage P, constant also. You see that? Uh, so what differ is only the lambda and electron charge. Uh, understand? Uh, so... Uh, we can say since uh, the only di uh, thing differ is uh, the two variable is only the uh, lam the lambda and the mass, so we can write it as um, 
we can write it as um, um, lambda proportional to 1 over uh, square root mass. You see or not? Huh? Because all the other H2 electron, the, the charge and the voltage, they are all the same because same potential difference, same voltage. Uh, so, okay? So all the other is the same. Uh, all the other is the same. H2, the charge, your electron and proton is the same and voltage also the same. So what different is only the lambda and the mass. Uh, only the mass of electron different from mass of proton, lambda of electron will be different from lambda of proton because when the mass different, when the mass different, of course lambda different. Okay? Uh, so only the lambda and mass is different. So that's why here we can write like this lah. Uh, all the other just disappear lah because they cancel off each other. So we can write as um we if we divide, uh, if we divide, we can make it like this. Uh, lambda, uh, lambda. Uh, if this one is electron and this one is proton, okay. So square root. Uh, we can combine the square root. Okay, we can combine the square root. So if e lambda electron, lambda electron on top. The mass must, must be bottom, mass of electron must be bottom. If lambda proton at the bottom, mass of proton need to be at the top. Understand or not? If lambda proton at the bottom, mass of proton need to be at the top. Uh, so, uh, do I get the answer already? Uh, I want to find the ratio of lambda electron to proton. Uh, that means I want this ratio. Lambda electron over lambda proton. Do I get the answer already? Yes, I get lambda electron over lambda proton, which is this in terms of in terms of the masses, uh, mass of proton over mass of electron. That's the answer. Ah, uh, that's the answer. Okay, very easy that very easily done. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the answer. Lambda electron over lambda proton. Lambda electron over lambda proton is square root mass of proton over mass of electron. Okay, in terms of mass of electron and proton. So I got it. Square root mass of proton over mass of electron. Is that correct? Uh, uh, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Square root square root mass of proton over mass of electron. Uh, square root mass of proton over mass of electron. That's correct. Okay. So the other way um is um I just now I just use write this uh, proportional method. If you cannot get it, uh, why why suddenly proportional method become uh, this uh, this equation? You don't get it. Never mind. Actually, I already simplify. Uh, actually, the actual way is this is the equation one. Uh, this is the equation two. You understand or not? Uh, and then uh, I want I use one divide by two. That's what I do actually. Yeah, one divide by two. Uh, Okay, 1 divided by 2, equation 1 divided by equation 2. So here we have lambda electron, uh, lambda electron divided by lambda proton. Okay, and then here at the right hand side we have H. Oh, I have to copy the all, all, all things over all over again. Mass of electron, electron, voltage of electron. Okay, and then here also, okay, I have to copy the whole thing again, again, yeah. Square root uh, two mass of proton, uh, two mass of proton electron and um, voltage of proton. Okay, so actually, is uh, this is the thing that actually happened? So what I say just now, H is constant, so it can cut off. Two also constant can be cut off. Mass of electron and mass of proton, of course, different. Yeah, of course, different. Proton has a bigger mass. Electron has a very small mass, so different cannot cut, cannot cut. The charge is the same. Charge of one proton is the charge of one electron. So these two charge is the same, can be cut off. Voltage, he said just now voltage constant. Uh, same potential difference, isn't it? Same potential difference, same voltage. So v voltage also considered constant. So voltage also can cut off. Also can cut off. So gone already. So what left is just the what left is just the mass of electrons square root. Mass of proton square root. Uh, so we have what? What do we have? So what do I have here is a uh, one square root mass of electron. Here below I have square 
square root mass of proton. Ah, uh, you understand not? Ah, uh, so and then I um rearrange. Okay, I rearrange. Um, so what I do the shortcut, the shortcut I do is uh, I multiply. Here I multiply this one. Here I multiply mass of electron both side. Ah, uh, here and then and then here also I multiply multiply mass of um, proton mass of uh, square root mass ah I multiply I multiply because I want to remove I want to remove the denominator denominator you understand or not I want to remove the denominator uh, so the this one uh, this one and this one can be cut off and then uh, this one and this one can be cut off ah do you see that uh, I remove the denominator. So now I left with at the top. At the top, I have a square root of a mass of proton over square root of mass of electron. That means I got this. Uh, so at the top, I have a mass of proton. Yeah, at the top here, I have a square root mass of proton, and below here, I have a square root uh, mass of electron. Ah, that's the answer. Is that correct? Ah, uh, correct also because it's the same thing. It's the same method. So the is still equal to square root mass of proton over mass of electron. You still end up the same thing. Okay. Ah, uh, so this thing is actually what I shortcut into this form. I shortcut already. Okay. Ah, uh, actually, you if you don't understand about this cut cut, actually this one is very simple. This one is very simple. Uh, this one actually is like uh, multiply one, you understand? This one also is like uh, multiply one, you understand? Uh, it's mathematic only. It's like multiply one. So if you multiply one, no changes to the fraction, you understand or not? Uh, this one and this one cut off become one. This one and this one cut off also become one. Whatever you multiply on the top must also apply the same. Uh, whatever you um, multiply at the top. You must multiply the same thing at the bottom. Uh, then it becomes like multiply one. You understand? Okay, maybe I just want example. Maybe just one example. Let's say I have um uh a over never mind. I just maybe I just put like this. Uh, uh okay, maybe I just put like this this way. Uh 2 over 4 over um uh, never mind. Maybe I just put a and then 3 over b uh, let's say i want to remove the remove the a and b what do i do what do i do uh, what do i do is uh, at the top i multiply a i want to remove the a i multiply a uh, and you whatever you multiply on the top you must multiply at the bottom also and similarly similarly i want to remove the b isn't it i want to remove the b so i multiply b uh, i multiply b so at the top also I multiply the same thing. You understand or not? Uh, if you want to re multiply b at the bottom, at the top also multiply the same thing. Then this is like this is the, this one is like uh, multiply one. This one also like multiply one. So it has uh, doesn't affect doesn't affect the value here. You understand? It doesn't affect the value here. So now I can cut already. Uh, a and a can cut. Uh, b and b can cut. So what left is what? What uh, what do we get? So at the top here, at the top here I have 2b. And at the top here I have 2b. And at the bottom here, at the bottom here I have 3a. I have 3a. Ah, uh, see? That's mathematic. Understand not? 3a. That's mathematic. Okay, so I um I think I have uh, done about this. Very easy. Okay. So, um, okay, that's all for this chapter. See you again. Bye.